Alright, so we are back again, this time for converting. I'm going to show you guys how I like to convert stuff. Now, it's not necessarily the correct way, but in my opinion, uh, it's a lot easier. This method here will take probably about, you know, five seconds or so versus, um, not, not five seconds, sorry. This method will probably take about like 30 minutes or so versus like the hours upon weeks that other vehicles could do. Now granted, this method here, you will have to recode a lot of stuff and things like that, but at the same time, uh, it's a lot better than running into errors every two seconds like I did when I tried to convert everything the correct way. So for here we have a simple little tow truck. As you can see, none of the shaders or anything like that's uh, showing up, but that's quite alright. All we got to do is just go back in here and just kind of remove those. So let's see. Actually, I don't think I needed to remove the texture. Let's see. I also recently had to move my desktop into my hard drive because Farming Simulator told me I couldn't hold any more, which is weird. I don't see how or why the desktop would have anything to do with it, but oh well. There we go. Okay, so you won't have to remove the textures, just the shaders. If you couldn't tell, it's been a minute since I've had to uh, convert anything. Also, little things like this, like the lights and stuff like that, by doing this method, they won't really work anymore. But what I like to do is I just uh, pull other lights off of other vehicles um, that already work or things like that. And uh, that way, you can just, you know, copy and paste them and uh, make them look normal and everything. Let's see. Here we go. Also, from what I've learned, too, from the handful of converts that I've done in the past, um, I haven't really found out a way to, like, not have to take the vehicle back through Blender. Uh, if you want to do stuff like um, re-add the dirt maps or things like that, whenever you go back and, like, add, uh, sometimes the vehicles will work. Uh, I guess it just depends on what game they came off of, whether it was 15 or 17 or something like that. But, um... For some reason, some of these vehicles, they just don't like the FS-19 dirt maps or uh, the shaders or stuff like that. So they'll wind up kind of just staying how they look here. And if you wanted it painted to select uh, a certain color or something like that, you'll have to just do it through Giants Editor, which I can show you that guy, uh, that too, whenever we get to that point. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I haven't really found a, a bypass or anything like that. Uh, instead of just having to take the full model back through Blender to set it up for uh, color swap or color select, whatever you want to call it. Now, if you guys that have done successful converts that are watching this video or something like that, uh, by all means, if you guys know, please share. I just I know that in my time of converting things, I have not stumbled upon uh, a quick little redneck fix of fuel. And also, last video, I didn't really touch base on um, some stuff, like for instance, are these vehicles going to be available? Yes, they absolutely are. That Mustang is going to be available. Oh, that's all the shaders. Uh, that Mustang is going to definitely be available. This truck here is going to be definitely available. And many, many other vehicles that were in that um, 
convert folder that you guys saw earlier is definitely going to be available. Let's see. Let's pick out a truck. I try to pick out a truck that's kind of basic and doesn't really have a whole lot of stuff to it already. So let's see. I'll tell you what, I'll cut all this out and uh, we'll come back whenever I decide on a vehicle. Alright, so I picked out a vehicle. We're going to go with the 77 Ford here. I'll go ahead and pull this thing up here. Alright, let's see here. So, whenever you get ready to export the vehicle that you're converting over, you won't need junk and stuff like the player location or cameras or stuff like that. Obviously, this mod here already has all that stuff. This truck is private, sorry. <laughs> I hate to tease you guys like this, but it is private. Um, let's see. So, I'll go ahead and, there it is, go ahead and create me a transform group, throw it on into the vehicle, alright, then we'll go back, alright, alright, so, I love it when things are in a different language. If you guys know other languages, I'm not hating on you. That's really cool. Um, let's see. So we're going to need stuff like the wheels. Uh, what is this? The steering wheel. Lights, I'm not too worried about, but we'll take them anyway. Mainly just the body parts, interior. Stuff like that. Alright, so I definitely want that. I don't know what that is, but we'll take it. We're going to need the collision boxes for sure. Going to need that. Uh, yeah, we won't take that. We already got one for that other truck. Alright, and then we will just export section with files so that we will take all the textures and all that good stuff over to it. We shouldn't have to update the textures. We might. Not 100% sure yet. Uh, but we will definitely find out when we get there. Alright, we don't need that anymore. We'll come back over here. Import. Import. And bam. Alright, so I will go ahead and just highlight all this wonderful stuff. Control X and Control V. Now we can just click on this little fella here and kind of line everything up for us. What I like to do is line up driver's seat with driver's seat. And the reason why is because that way you never have to touch where the uh, character sits, really. You may have to update or uh, change where... rotate with the wheel and all that good stuff but I just find it a lot easier this way plus I kinda haven't really learned like the character location and stuff like that very well so this just saves me time on not having to do that of course actually this mod the character doesn't show up anyway but eh, either way alright this tow truck is really tiny compared to the other truck now if you ever wanted to resize it, you could just resize it here and then just freeze transformations for the uh, scale of it. But for this, I'm not really going to do that. I'm not too worried about how small it is. Of course, it might actually not be as small as we think it is in game. Alright, so once we have the tow truck where we want it, we'll just go ahead and make that invisible. And let's see. I kind of, let's see, I'm just going to go ahead and try to move this down to the bottom where the rest of the wheels are, there we go. Uh, didn't want to have to make a new wheel section, but I will. The wheels are set. 
We'll have to update that in the XML. But everything else should be pretty well ready to go. Uh, if you don't count me having to redo the wheels just then, uh, then we're already like only five minutes, you know, going. Alright, XML. Edit. Now let's go ahead and make these obsolete since we don't need them right now. And we're just going to focus on the one. that's updated um, there really shouldn't need to be anything else updated so I think we're pretty well ready to zip this folder back up oh before I forget um what I like to do is usually like change this up so what was this before a 66 Chevy okay so we'll just change the name to that for now um, but I like doing that so that way you don't have copies of everything and later on you can like change the names uh, or the different store images and all that stuff but again that'll be a, a later time we're just trying to like you know show that you can do this very quickly um let's see where else I think that's pretty well where you need to change the vehicle name in there save we'll go to the mod description and change it there as well all done in here Now again, to, uh, since this is a tow truck, to make all the mechanisms and all that stuff work, um, I would say throw it on the tow truck that's already got all that stuff on it. Uh, but, I mean, if you're like me and don't really care if that stuff works right now or not, then just go ahead and throw it on whatever you can. should be everything to swap over for right now name wise I'll change the uh, final one here which is the folder Okay, we're almost time. Almost ready to test it out in game. Also, videos wise, uh, these are the two main videos that I definitely wanted to knock out on tutorials, but I definitely plan to like make more videos of like the rest of the process of transferring everything over or making everything work on a converted vehicle, stuff like that. Um, I haven't really done tractors and trailers and all that stuff of course I haven't really messed with any FS19 tractors and trailers and stuff um, but I definitely plan to like show you guys how to hook up aftermarket parts lights all that good stuff alright let's see if we can find it Now I forgot to turn off the uh, lights in Giants Editor, but that's fine. Uh, can skip all that because we don't have anything hooked up on this truck. Speaking of which, I completely forgot to adjust the camera 
in this truck, but it looks like it's actually pretty well set where it needs to be. Also, um, I didn't update the node for the steering wheel, so it's not going to rotate when I steer the wheels. But for the most part, I mean, bam, there you go. We already have a converted working vehicle in-game in like 10 minutes. It runs, drives, no issue whatsoever. So that's how I skip all of the junk, all of the errors and stuff that you get. Because let me tell you, when I first started learning how to convert stuff over, uh, I started on the FS17, I think it was, General Lee. I spent probably two months trying to do it the correct way of converting stuff over and just knocking out the errors and all that stuff. Now granted, I could probably go back and convert stuff correctly uh, today because back then I didn't really know much. I was still starting out and I was trying to you know, take big steps at a time. Um, uh, but basically I just stumbled upon this quick little method from uh, other modders and a couple of YouTube videos and stuff like that. Uh, and I just kind of ran with it. So, um, yeah, I mean, if there's, you know, a vehicle that you guys want to convert or something like that, it's pretty well simple. You just got to know your basics of Giants Editor and um, kind of just follow the steps that I just showed you guys. And uh, like I said, I'll definitely make some future videos of how to, uh, how to like, uh, make the lights actually light up and all that good stuff. Now... I don't know if I'll make a video on like actually making the crane arm rotate and all that stuff. Of course, actually, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure if the crane arm actually even rotated on this truck or not. I'll definitely hook up a uh, some form of like tow hitch or something back here that will at least it'll slightly tow something. But basically, what I like to do is like, as you can see, this is a Chevy C10. There's already a couple of Chevy C10s out there that's public. What I would do, and what I'll do in the future video, is just grab that truck and take the little um, headlights off of there and put them on this one and kind of like basically replace it. Same thing for the blinkers. Now for the beds, there's definitely a ton of beds out there that have round red brake lights and round or square um, blinkers and all that stuff. And that's basically all I do is I just take spare parts off of other vehicles and just put them together and update the nodes in the XML document. That's really all you got to do. Very simple, very quick, easy way to convert stuff. Doesn't really hardly really take any effort or stuff like that. Now, some vehicles you'll still get a few uh, issues or errors, but I have found out that mainly it's only trailers and stuff like that because I have converted over one trailer in the past, and for whatever reason, it was the mod that I chose to put the vehicle on. For whatever reason, its hitbox was like meshed together with the actual part of the trailer. So whenever I went to go make that invisible, the collision box was still making it be an issue. Which actually, is there a collision box issue here? Mm, somewhat. I think the old Ford collision box is kind of like still you know, showing up for the most part. But again, all you got to do there is go in. Even though that the truck is already invisible in Giants Editor, um, even though the truck is already uh, invisible in Giants Editor, for some reason the collision boxes will still get picked up. So all you got to do there is just like either delete them if you can, or just make them invisible. I think what I had to wind up doing with the trailer was just delete them all. But the reason why I don't really like deleting stuff at a Giants Editor is because then that's an awful lot of work on you to have to go back and re-update the nodes and all that stuff. So say the collision box was like right underneath the wheels on our mod. Then you would have to go back through and literally re-update all the lights, all the camera nodes, all that stuff. So it's just a lot easier if you can like bypass that and all that good stuff. But anyway, that's how to convert in 30 minutes. Uh, I definitely plan to put out some more tutorial uh, videos in the future. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any comments, concerns, issues, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Uh, just leave them in the comment box. And uh, yeah, happy modding.